Hey guys, and welcome back. So we're back in another British campaign here. So we got our talk. We're gonna do this one, this one, and that one. We're gonna go right in. So they got tanks, artillery, and infantry. Not too shabby. I think we can handle this one. Let's see, we'll see what's going on here. Resting lake, all right. Well, we're not gonna be resting in this battle. We're going to war. So Russians have a split here. They have, oh my goodness gravy, they have a lot of, they have the conscript force in full force. They have a Katushka army over here. So what I'm thinking is, since they split up their tanks and infantry, we have a lovely, lovely little infantry circle of ATR. We put them right around these boys. Right around the ridge line. Any infantry wanting to come to these woods are gonna get flamethrowered. We're also gonna get a couple archers for reserves, a couple rockets. So we're gonna get a couple mattresses to out -ma and to out rocket them. Tildas, Crusaders, a few Churchills. So let's counter the infantry with something. An AA gun will work. Four AA guns will take out that infantry swarm, guaranteed. All right, see what happens. Let's start the battle. All right, so immediately our bombers are overflying. Immediately a wave of ATR infantry wiping out their tank force. A lot of ATR, like not even a joke. We have tank destroyers, which should be turning to the left here. Ooh, those ATR infantry get wiped out. Yeah, it looks like they got wiped out. That's not good. We may still have a shot at this. We still have our tanks. We still have tank destroyers. Yeah, as far as I can see, I think we got this. They have a few heavy tanks still alive. Our tank destroyers are out doing theirs. They have some infantry reserves here. Our bombers are still operational. They're still bombing away. A couple bits of artillery. Hitting their tanks really hard here. Nice, took another tank destroyer. Spitfire is doing work. Ooh, nice bomb. Oh, it's gonna be close. I hate when it's close. Apparently there was a tank guy over there that got left behind. Ooh, they're being smart. They're pulling their tank forces back again. I do hate when they do that. We do have, a, we are wiping out their tanks, which is very good. We do have a shot. The only problem, actually they have ATR infantry. We may have a shot here. So what happened is I think their ATR infantry took out our tanks first. And we didn't have much left. It's gonna be up to the remainder of our artillery right now. Take out some of their infantry. And the only thing these guys have are ATR rifles. So we have a very good shot of actually wiping them out here. We have a few planes left in the sky. We have a few men actually in the field surrounding them. I'm gonna actually take control of this guy. Take control of him myself. Ooh, 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 watch out, watch out, watch out. Yeah, so they have ATR rifles, they can't even they can't even counter us, baby! Victory! Alright, let's check any check in the tech tree. We'll get a Black Prince. We could use officer tanks, but I really want to upgrade our officers. And I should be using these guys more. They're well upgraded. Very high damage on the officers. Next mission is Fana. I think that's how you say it. So two buildings, one artillery, three tanks. Shouldn't be too difficult. Let's get right into it. Iffy Desert. Well, it's going to be an iffy battle when they have buildings. We have a building and two VIPs, which buildings are pretty good for us, but they have a building as well. They have two buildings, actually. They have an infantry building an aircraft and they have a pretty weak tank force with no infantry reserves and they have a lot of katushas so the only thing i could possibly think of here possibly stash atr infantry because that's basically all we're going to be fighting stash them in the ridge lines to give them cover we're going to mainly use aircraft because we have to get those buildings out of commission we're actually going to use four to get a bunker here it doesn't hurt to get a bunker bed for recovery because we got vips that we got to take care of put our officers on both sides of the battlefield all right let's give it a try i will personally take control of one of these lancasters so we're going straight in baby all right, so immediately on the ground, I'm looking at our forces. We got a massive spread of ATR infantry. Our bombers just got wiped. That's not a good sign. Bombs away. Got one of the bombers off, which is important. We can get that AA building out of commission. Ooh, ooh, I missed. That's not good at all. All right, we're pushing up on this infantry building. We still have a chance of winning this. I mainly want to take out this infantry building first, if we can. There we go. They still have a massive air force. Take that out if we can. Doing some heavy damage on the airport here. Ooh, I see its health. So it's, it's got a lot of damage and a lot of health left. It's not good. They're getting planes out. It's not what we want. We gotta get up there and we gotta take that out before they get a lot of air forces up or our tanks are down. We are doing a lot of damage though. Their shields are down. <laughs> I hate to say shields, but they don't have any armor left. Once we take this out, we can handle their air force. I'll play around with their air force to try to get the VIPs out of the way. What I should have made is more AA guns, because I would have suspected that our air force would have survived. And I also should have gave us a Spitfire. Would have handled their aircraft that's pumping out right now. Whoa, 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 Bedford. You got it, brother. Thanks, buddy. Wow, that guy's going high. So we actually do have aircraft in the sky. As a matter of fact, we do have a Spitfire. So as long as we have an airport, we should be able to handle this. Another victory down in Iran, baby. We're dancing in the desert with the mustache man style himself. All right, the final mission. Two rockets, 
two specials, three tanks. Let's just get into it. They got the bear troops coming out in the desert. Look at this bad boy. This little bear right here. Well, I noticed something again. The Russians do not have an air force. They forget sometimes. They just don't think an air force is that useful. They would use bears instead of air forces. Let's get a nice tank spread here. We need some ATR armatry since we have a forest and woods here. So give me some of those. A few pirate tanks. Let's give this a shot. I am personally going to take control of one of these bombers. And we're going to go for a large group of Soviets here. Do a little bomb like this. Don't think that got anywhere near the target, but let's see what it hits. Ooh! They actually hit their tank destroyers and a couple of Katushkas. That was actually a good shot. Hit one of their artilleries out early. Nice, nice, nice. Took out some of their lights. Beautiful job. We have ATR that's still surviving. They have rocket trucks that aren't working. They have tanks that aren't working. We have lots of anti-tank, which is all we need in this battle. So we have a few tanks here. Matilda's tank destroyer is moving up the front here. We have a Tong, or a T-42. Let's get wrecked. Yeah. So those boys spawn on anti-tank dogs. And it looks like they didn't get out enough. We just beat the Ruskies in Iran. We showed that mustache ran who owns this country. The British Empire does. Ho oh, ho oh. Get to talk to our boy Alan again. Hello, my friend. What happened in Iran was not a war. Of course not. What was it then? I don't know. I'm sure the ministers will come up with some perfectly appropriate name. Just call it the dance in the desert. What matters is that now everyone knows the Soviets can be defeated. Yeah. We beat those Ruskies out of the damn desert, brother. Yeah, all right. Let's go to the next act. See what's in store. Act 4, United Kingdom 09, 1945. The ministers call it Operation Unthinkable. Wow, we're going to work again. <laughs> thinking about it for a long time. Oh my goodness. Stalin has already shown us in Iran what he thinks about our alliance. <laughs> We've beaten the Soviets once. This time, however, will be much, much harder. Can we get a pun read off for this man, Alan? He has said many puns throughout this campaign, and I'm just noticing it now. Every single time he says a pun, I just, it's just so punny. Unbelievably punny. So we'll get into this the next part. We'll jump into Poland here. Operation Unthinkable. We'll beat these Russies all the way back to Mother Russia. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and don't forget to check out the rest of my videos.